You found Paul Daddy's Bly Dog Barbecue. Today I'll show you a great way to cook that Thanksgiving turkey. We'll be using the beer can process, but I'll show you how to do it without the beer and without the can. I'm using the sitting chicken turkey steamer, and today I'm making an injection recipe for the turkey breast, and we're gonna use the rest of that recipe to go inside the steamer, and it'll make a fabulous roasted turkey. We wanna add a half a cup of low sodium chicken broth to a microwave safe container, and then add in half a cup of unsalted butter. That's one stick. I'm melting the butter into the broth using the microwave. Now you wanna stir in one tablespoon of lemon juice, a half teaspoon of black pepper, a quarter teaspoon of white pepper, one eighth teaspoon each of rosemary, sage, and thyme. Now remove everything from the cavity of the turkey and then trim away any loose skin. Wash or don't wash your bird. Either way, you need to dry it off with paper towels. We want to inject the breast several times in several places on both sides with our marinade. Now add the leftover injection marinade into the steamer. And you also want to add some more of the chicken broth to bring it level up to at least half full. Okay, I'm using duck fat in a spray can to serve as a binder. It enhances the flavor of that skin. Rub the entire turkey with the duck fat and then sprinkle on your rub. I'm using John A. Adams Mesquite Grill Chicken Rub. I love this stuff. Now mount your turkey on top of the steamer, put that on top of a drip pan, and then you want to touch up the turkey with a little bit more rub if you need to. Today I'm using my char griller acorn kamado with the lump charcoal. I'm cooking at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I have a Fireboard 2 Pro controller to control the temperature, and I'm not gonna be using the grill's grate because I need some extra headroom for the turkey. Now, the large size of the drip pan protects the turkey from many of the direct heat, but no matter what grill you're gonna be cooking on, just set it up for indirect heat. Rotate your turkey frequently, at least once every hour, now 165 degrees internal is the minimum safe temperature. You need to know what the temperature is deep inside the turkey. Now let that turkey rest for at least 15 minutes before cutting. So look at that golden color. It's moist, it's juicy, the skin is great, it's off the charts good. Now this is a fantastic way to cook your turkey. I just wish that this turkey had 10 wings. I'd like to eat them all. Now all you got to do is hit that like button on your way out, consider subscribing, and I hope to see you next time at Paul Daddy's Blind Hog Barbecue.